There's a lot of things that happen in your life that you can't choose. But the one thing that can never be taken away from you is your ability to choose how to respond. My name is Terry Wise and I travel around the country and I do a lot of public speaking on mental health topics. I'll tell you about it in a few minutes. So there was a lot of things brewing at the time. On Christmas morning of the year 2000, I swallowed 200 Percocets and 60 doses of morphine with a pint of gin. I felt like life was an endurance test for me and making it to the next day and to the next day and to the next day was truly, it was, um, it was just a fight for survival. I was home from the hospital and nobody knew what I had just gone through. So I was alone before the attempt and now I was really alone. Well, I had been seeing Dr. Glazer. I went to her office with the hope that maybe there was some way she could help me tolerate being alive. I think the key thing was not something specific I said, but I truly believed that together we could do the work and she could get better. When you get to that point, you feel so worthless. And, excuse me, to have someone believe in you that much Suicide doesn't stand alone. It doesn't just happen as the result of nothing out of nowhere. It's the result of something. If you've gone through your life and you've had traumas or you've had difficulties or you've had things that you think you've buried and then you have a significant loss or a significant trauma occur later in your life as I did with my husband dying, all of the things that have been on simmer in your life come to a full boil. Suicide for me had become almost like a coping mechanism and I, I learned in therapy that death wasn't the only way to end my pain. There were other ways to end my pain besides death and one of them was developing coping skills and, and learning how to manage my feelings in a different way, which, which I did. There's, there's one thing that you, and everybody can do and that is that they can always reach out for help. There's always somebody there that will offer support. Everybody's in a position to reach out for help and get support and not be alone with how they're feeling.